Diecast Monster Truck Racing! If people only knew the amount of time and effort that went behind each and every race, I mean, you figure both of us work full-time jobs, and when this first started, we would come home from work, choke down dinner, get a shower, and then, okay, let's get to the show. And we're starting on the show at two or three hours a night, every single night when you first started off. Give me fuel, give me fire, give me that which I desire! Ladies and gentlemen, to week four of the December season, and it all culminates here tonight as 16 of the best diecast monster trucks are getting down and dirty in the track for you here tonight, all trying to walk away with the December season overall points championship, which will be announced on our MTA Facebook page after the show here tonight. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we saw a lot of great racing last week, some close action. Jeremy Howes and Escalade currently holds on to that championship flag. He is falling behind with Chase McClure and Metal Militia in the overall points chase so again everybody is ready to do battle some of the trucks are tore up some of the trucks may not be at 100 percent but we're gonna see some great monster truck racing action here tonight only on the mta youtube channel as jeremy Howes and escalade tries to hang on to that championship flag now as we go ahead and take a look at how round one action is going to shake down iron outlaw taking on the aftershock obsessed with taking on metal health Kraken taking on scarlet bandit dragon taking on the u.s air force afterburner other side of the bracket we're going to see Metal Militia taking on Goldberg, Bulldozer taking on UFO, Doomsday taking on the Wrecking Crew Machine, and first round matchup defending the championship flag, Jeremy Housen and Escalade will be taking on Jimmy Hurd in the Taurus Machine, ready to throw it down inside a round one competition as we get ready to close out the 2023 year and the 2023 December season. Up at the line right now, Roland Cantwell, the former two-time Thursday Night Thunder champion, still looking for championship number three. He is now set to take Take on Jake Ehrlich and Aftershock, who is ready to go over here on the outside lane. Rolling Cantwell at a talking oxy Candace Iron Outlaw Ford. Always one bad fast truck. And with a little bit of help here tonight from my nephew Bubby Ray. He's down here pulling the string for us, letting these bad boys go here on the track. Both these drivers are staged. Who's advancing on here tonight inside a round two competition? Iron Outlaw and Aftershock. Green light goes down now, and Iron Outlaw's got the lead. Aftershock coming back on him now, and Cantwell in trouble. Over he goes. He does pick up the win, however, over Jake Ehrlich and Aftershock. What an end over and roll over there down inside of the shutdown area. In the event, Iron Outlaw is going to be your round one winner here tonight. Next up here tonight inside a round one competition, it's the return of the Idaho Wildman. Chris Walkerson obsessed, now ready to take on Devin Treat inside of Metal Health. He lost the body on that truck last week. The crew was down there in the pits thrashing on that truck. Got him back together only to lose the body for the second time. This time near tonight, it's not going anywhere. It's going to be staying right there on top of the metal health chassis. Both these drivers are staged. It's an all four double shootout here tonight inside of round one. Who's going to meet on in round two? We're waiting on the green light. Down the straightaway, they go down metal health. The early lead. Here comes up, set down the inside lane, and the Idaho Wild Man stuffs it into the van stack inside of the shutdown area. He will pick up the round one victory over Devon Treat and Metal Health here tonight. I think he needs a break from it. To step back and regroup. And then plan his comeback well. It's frustrating when you've already planned your show and then your audience wants to change it. 
And back now with round one competition, up at the line, the Princess of Carnage, Olivia Cantwell returning at Scarlet Bandit. She is now set to take on Hayden Altman, the 2022 Summer Heat Shootout Champion. The cracking machine ready to go. He's been kind of hit or miss all season long. He's trying to turn on all eight cylinders in that big block blown Chevrolet in the cracking machine over here on the inside lane. Boat trucks want this win bad. Bubby Ray down here on the strings, ready to let these bad boys and girls go inside a round one competition. Olivia Cantwell and Scarlet Bennett has been on a rail the last couple of months. Does she have enough to take out Kraken here tonight? Inside a round one, both these drivers are staged. We're waiting on the green light. Down the straightaway, they go. They're getting it now. Up over the far, Hoopty Doo and Kraken pulls it out over Olivia Cantwell. And Kraken turns it over inside the shutdown area. What a matchup it was. They were pretty much even all the way down to the wire. And Hayden Altman and Kraken rolling the truck over after getting involved with that van stack down there. Our MTA track crew and officials are down there to roll him back over. A little bit of body damage now done to the Kraken machine. But in the event, he will put Olivia Cantwell and Scarlet Bandit on the trailer. She got down there on that last of the cars. The truck kind of shot to the sky, giving Hayden Altman and Kraken the round one victory. The crew, no doubt, was going to have him back inside round two competition. They're going to go back down there, tighten up some nuts and bolts. They'll have that Squidward machine back for round two, no doubt about it. And next up here tonight, inside the Dragon Machine, it's Cam Burkhart returning to round one competition here on Thunder. Now ready to take on the Iceman, Jeffrey Skipper, U.S. Air Force Adjutant, ready to rock the house, the former six-time Thursday Night Thunder champion. He's ready to throw down again. The crew went back. Did some R&D on that truck in between seasons. He's been looking strong all December season long. He now finds himself against Cam Burkhart and Dragon who rolled the truck over a couple of weeks ago. A little bit of body damage done to him. He's trying to advance on into round two as well. Who's it gonna be? Green light goes down now and off the line now. Pretty much even down the straightaway now. Up and over the car and it's a close shootout. All the way down to that finish line, but your winner Looks like it was the Iceman, Jeffrey Skipper and the U.S. Air Force Adjutant are just edging out the Dragon Machine down at the finish line as we go back and take a look at your MTA photo finish. Your winner in round one is going to be... The Iceman, Jeffrey Skipper, U.S. Air Force Adjutant taking out Dragon here in round one competition. I think he has a well-deserved break coming and should be able to chill for a little while. And I don't know, who, who knows, you know, maybe take a month or two off, maybe three, then go back into the swing of things. I mean, this has been like an ongoing thing for like the last four or five years with consistency, day in and day out, week in, week out, all new material, all the time. Back to the action now here inside a round one competition at the line from Atlanta, Georgia. It's Adam Lamprick returning in Goldberg. He's been a thorn in everybody's side all season long. He is now set to take on the man who's been to the final round every race this season. Chase McClure, Metal Militia. He's racked up two Thursday Night Thunder Championships just this season. Can you say he's on kill here tonight? We're only going to find out as round one action continues on. Adam Lambert and Goldberg trying to take out one of the best trucks this season. Who's he going to be advancing on in round two? Here's the green light now. Off the line, Goldberg's got the whole shot. Metal Militia trying to make it the ground now on the car. And Goldberg pulls it out of the end. Adam Lamprick taking Chase McClure out in round one action. It hasn't happened all season long. What an incredible race. Both drivers gave it all they had all the way down to that finish line as we get ready to go back and take a look how close the race was inside of our MTA photo finish. And taking another look at it right here, your winner in round one, Adam Lamprick at Goldberg. It wasn't by much. He barely crossed the line just before Metal Militia. And that's how it's done here on Thursday Night Thunder. The racing ever so close all December season long. But back at the line this season, Big Bad John returning in Bulldozer, still winless on Thursday Night Thunder. He's got a top truck. The truck runs great. He just gets a lot of stiff competition. And speaking of stiff competition, the veteran, Mr. Cool Hand Luke, James Valencourt returning here tonight. The UFO Ford hailing out of Cinnamissa, New Jersey, one of the oldest trucks still competing on the circuit. He's ready to rock the house. Turn around his December season in the final week. UFO taking on Bulldozer. Who's going to round two? Both trucks are staying. Green light goes down and off the line. They go UFO with the lead. Bulldozer coming back on him at the line. And Valencourt pulls it out by inches. 
over Big Bad John and Bulldozer. What a matchup it was in a true blue race all the way down to the wire. Here's a look at your MTA photo finish on how close it was. Bailey Court didn't get him by much, but enough to advance on in the round two competition here tonight. Bulldozer on the trailer, a tough season for both drivers, but UFO will advance on. No more pretending, no more, no more, the end is here, the end is here, the end is here, the end is here. And next up here tonight, inside a round one competition, Mad Mike, Ma Williams returning in Doomsday. This guy has taken MTA by storm, four-time Smashdown champion and two-time Thursday Night Thunder champion. He's ready to rock the house against Dustin Spallone in wreck -It Crew, who took home his first Thursday Night Thunder championship, debuting that truck at the top of the December season. You can't debut a new truck any better than that. He's ready to throw it down one more time and try to take a win and rack up a second Thunder championship here tonight. He's got to go through one of the best Mad Mike Mile Williams of Tuesday. Who's going to round two? We're about to find out. Boat truck stays now. Green light goes down off the line. Tuesday pulls it slightly. Here comes Wrecking Crew on the inside lane. Justice Malone pulls the trigger over no man's land to the last set of cars. Mad Mike upside down inside the shutdown area. What a matchup. It was a true close race all the way down to that finish line. Here's how close it was. Your MTA photo finish winner is going to be Dustin Malone and Wrecking Crew from the comeback right there over no man's land to the last set of cars. Wrecking Crew advancing on in the round two, but now it's come down to defending the championship flag. Jamie Hurd, a former one-time Thursday Night Thunder champion, Taurus back at the line, now set to take on Jeremy Hiles and an Escalade. Now a two-time reigning and defending Thursday Night Thunder champion. He's ready to rock the house to close out the December season strong. He got the win last week. He's trying to hang on to that championship flag to close out round one. Bobby Ray down there on the purse strings, ready to let these bad boys go. Who's moving on in a round two? Flag on the line. Green light drops down now. That's like pulling the lead off the home side. Here comes Torres on the outside lane. Jamie Hearn turned it over in the shutdown area. What a matchup it was, similar to Roland Cantwell and Iron Outlaw earlier tonight. That far lane's kind of pitching these trucks up and over. Long darting them into the track as we go up and check out your MTA replay here. Off the line they go. Jeremy Howes and an Escalade, no doubt, got the whole shot. Now watch Escalade down the straightaway. So much speed, he got a little squirrely right there. Kind of high sides, and here comes Torres capitalizing on the outside lane. Pogo's it hard on the front end, going end over end, rolling the truck over. No doubt the crew's going to have him back as he takes out the champion here tonight inside a round one competition. What a wild matchup we had. Torres takes out the champion. So, ladies and gentlemen, the crowning all-new champion here tonight. We got a lot more great racing still to come. But round two action coming up next. It's only going to get better from here. Who's going to take it all the way and close out the December season as champion? We're going to find out next when Thursday Night Thunder closes out the December season after our break. Yeah, so back in 2020, the world pretty much shut down. Coronavirus was taking over and uh, all your monster truck events were shutting down. And I really wanted to do something to get everybody back involved with the sport, even if it was from the comfort of your own home. And, uh, you know, there was plenty of diecast racing long before MTA. And uh, I watched it here and there, and you know, it never really caught my interest. But I was like, if there's some way we could take these toys and try to make it as realistic as possible, we might be on to something. So I always built custom die cast trucks, I always painted them up, made special one off bodies, detailed the chassis all up. And I said, you know what? If we could do this and put it with 16 trucks, we can have ourselves a show with some of the most realist looking die cast racing you can ever dream of. So basically we move on from that and we start building the track and getting it all together. And in the early years of MTA, the track was so wide, the trucks were swirling all around and there was really no control over it because we were just starting out. You know, we, I, don't, I wasn't sure what I was doing. So, you know, we just kind of, hey, we're going to send it out there and this is, this is what we do. So and that's how it was. 
Back now on Thursday Night Thunder as we close out the December season. Here's how round two action is going to shake down. The Iron Outlaw taking on Obsessed. Kraken will be taking on the U.S. Air Force Afterburner. Other side of the bracket, Goldberg taking on UFO. And closing out round two, Dustin Spallone and Wrecking Crew taking on Taurus and Jamie Hurd. Both these drivers want that win bad, so that matchup ought to be a dandy as Taurus dethroned our champion in round one earlier tonight. Now up at the line right now, the Idaho Wildman and Obsessed made it to the final round one week this past December season. Ryan to get back there here tonight. He has got to take on Roland Cantwell and Iron Outlaw hailing out of Taganogs in Kansas, the former two-time Thursday Night Thunder champion in 2023. Renegades Rampage champion Iron Outlaw always a top threat out here on the MTA circuit. Chris Walker's making Obsessed a name out here on the MTA circuit as well. Both these drivers or stage, forward over brigade shootout, green light drops down on the line, they're pretty much neck and neck all the way down the straightaway over the cars, an incredible race and Cantwell turning it over for the second time tonight, down inside of the shutdown area, rolling it over top of the van stack, not sure who got the round two victory, it was close at the finish line, we're going back and checking out our MTA photo finish, your winner in round two is going to be Roland Cantwell and Iron Outlaw by a tire length, taking out Chris Walkers in Obsessed here in round two competition. Now next up at the line, Hayden Altman returning in Kraken. We saw him earlier tonight roll the truck over, a little bit of body damage. He is now set to take on the Iceman, Jeffrey Skipper, U.S. Air Force Afterburner 2021 Halloween Madness Champion, six-time Thunder Champion. Is there something this guy hasn't done? He wants to rack up a seventh Thunder victory. Here tonight, U.S. Air Force Afterburner is looking strong. So is Hayden Altman in Kraken, even though he's missing the front clip of that truck. Both these drivers the stage in round two. Who's going on the semis? The green light drops down now on the line. Kraken's got the lead. Here comes Air Force on the inside lane. Not sure if it was enough as Hayden Altman made a smooth, clean pass out of that far lane. And Kraken nearly looks unstoppable here tonight inside a round two competition. As we go back and check out your MTA photo finish, some close, great racing here tonight. Your winner, Hayden Altman and Kraken, putting the U.S. Air Force Afterburner on the trailer here in round two. Kraken will advance on into our semi-final matchup. So you go back to April 10th, 2021. Uh, it was a Saturday morning. It was kind of foggy, slight drizzle outside. It was, you know, a very damp morning, kind of chilly. You know, just on my way into town and, you know, things went awry and that's when everything kind of changed for me. Uh, we ended up totaling out my truck that morning. It's not something that I'm proud of, but you know, things happen. And uh, it, gets shit, it shook me down in my core because something like that had never ever happened before. And you know, and, and like, as I always say, no one knows really what goes on in your personal life. And that was kept as a very hush hush secret. And you know, <clears throat> as they always say, the show must go on. So without missing a beat, we towed the truck back home and we were on to the next race and no one ever knew anything about it. But the memory well, up next here tonight, inside a round two competition out of Atlanta, Georgia, Adam Lambert returning in the futuristic SUV, Goldberg at the line to take on Mr. Cool Hand Luke himself, James Bailacourt in the UFO Ford, former four-time Thursday Night Thunder champion again, one of the oldest trucks out here on the MTA circuit. Hasn't been doing so hot all December season long. Things may be turning around for him here tonight. What's he got for Adam Lambert and Goldberg? The green light goes down on the line. They go there pretty much even now. Goldberg pulled a slight lead on UFO. But Bailey Court with him all the way down to the finish line as he turns it over on the van stack down inside of the shutdown area. UFO was not going away. And Goldberg gave it all he had down here on the inside lane. Not sure who got the ground two victory as we get ready to go back and check out your MTA photo finish. The veteran taking on a fairly new kid on the block. Both drivers letting it all hang out. Your winner in round two competition is going to be Adam Lambert and Goldberg by maybe three quarters of a truck over the UFO Ford. So Valencourt showing up and showing out. Goldberg just had a little bit more in the tank here tonight. And now to close out, round two competition, Dustin Stallone, we talked about him earlier tonight. He took home the week one December season championship race. He's trying to get back on top of the mountain. He is now set to take on Jamie Hurd and Torres, who knocked off our champion earlier tonight. In round one competition, he went for a wild ride. The crew's got him back ready at the start line. 
Can he have enough in the tank to take out Dustin Spallone and Wrecking Crew? We're about to find out who's going to semis. Green light goes down now and off the line. Wrecking Crew and they're on the lead. Cars now trying to come back. And it looks like Dustin Spallone and Wrecking Crew pulls out a round two victory. And Jamie Hurd will turn it over on its lid for a second time tonight. What an incredible matchup it was. But Wrecking Crew looks like he just edged out Taurus. As we go back and check out your MTA photo finish, your winner in round two is going to be Dustin Spallone and Wrecking Crew by about three quarters of a truck, taking out Jamie Hurd in Taurus. Move on to where things have gotten. You know, we grew so much since the early days. Early on, it was the first 16 people to comment in that section was able to get into the race. And, you know, that's what you do when you're starting out. And as things progress and as things grow, you know, I had to come up with something new. So that's when I created the wheel. Everybody gets 10 minutes to say that you're in a race and you spin the wheel. And it's the first 16 at the time was the first 16. Whoever got in, got in. I don't care who gets in, it's all for you guys. And you know what, uh, just the way things are going, I heard some people call it the wheel of doom or they're just not happy because they weren't picked. And you know what, it is what it is, you know, because not everybody's gonna get in every time. And I understand we only do it, you know, one week races and we would only do it, you know, throughout the month. And that's when things started to take a turn. I said, well, okay, we'll start up another weekly show. We had tried it a few times in the past with Sunday Night Madness or something a little bit smaller. And I said, you know what, if we do it this time, we're going full tilt and we're going to go full bore. We're going to do 16 trucks on a separate show. And that's when Smashdown came around. We had an opportunity for 16 more trucks and drivers to get into a show and, you know, compete weekly. And, you know, after about 30 weeks of that, it was, it was running me ragged because, you know, the first three or four weeks in a month, we were running Smashdown. Two days later, we were running Thunder. And then by the end of the month, we always had the big show with 32 trucks. And, man, we're running you know at least 60 trucks a week and we're running three shows a week and i was just on the down and outs i was burned and i said man something's got to give so i had to take smash down away and i really didn't want to but you know it is what it is it, it, may, it may come back one day who knows but uh it was definitely burning me out of running so many shows throughout the week on top of working a full-time job trying to do the family thing and you know i pushed off so much with the family trying to keep mta afloat trying to keep it where it's going and we're at 7,500 subscribers right now, and in, in the three and a half years that it's been around, is that a great number? Absolutely not. But is it something? It sure is. It shows that we're here, we're making a little bit of noise, and uh, you know, I like to make the racing as real as possible. And back on Thursday Night Thunder action as we close out the December season here tonight. Semi-final action is coming underway. Roland Cantwell and Iron Outlaw taking on Hayden Altman and Kraken. Then the other side of the bracket. How about Adam Lamprick and Goldberg showing up here tonight. Ready to take on Dustin Spallone and Wrecking Crew. And again, he made it to the finals in the first week of the December season. Getting his very first Thursday Night Thunder Championship. He's trying to do it again here tonight, but right now at the line at a target Oxy Candace. Roland Cantwell and Iron Outlaw looking strong here tonight. He wants a third Thunder victory. Other side of the table, Hayden Altman and Kraken. He's looking for his very first Thunder Championship. As he rolled the truck over earlier tonight, a little bit of cosmetic damage, nothing to worry about. He's still looking strong. He wants that first Thunder Championship. Bubby Ray down here on the pull strings once again. He's ready to let these bad boys go to kick off semi-final action. Who's taking it to the Finals. Here's the green light down down the straightaway. Outlaw with the early lead. Kraken now trying to make up the ground. He's out of shape. And Roland Cantwell and the Iron Outlaw will punch his ticket right into the finals here to close out the December season of Thursday Night Thunder. Hayden Altman got kind of squirrely over that last set of cars, costing him the win. Iron Outlaw is in the final round. Who is he going to meet there? Will it be Dustin Spallone and Wrecking Crew? Already a one-time Thunder champion, ready now to take on Adam Lamprick, hailing out of Atlanta, Georgia, and the futuristic S. SUV just barely beat out James Bellacourt and UFO in round two. Goldberg's looking strong here tonight. The no sway bar front engine design truck ready to rock the house over here on the inside lane. Who's meeting Iron Outlaw in the finals? The green light goes down and they're pretty even off the line. Back to crew and they're on the lead. Goldberg trying to come back and he's upside down inside of the shutdown area tagging the wall. What a ride there for Adam Lambrick. However, Dustin Spallone in the wrecking crew machine makes it back to the finals since the first time time since week one of the December season. Both drivers in the final round are going to be shooting it out, trying to take home that championship flag here tonight. And ladies and gentlemen, don't go anywhere. The finals are next.
since he was two years old, we took him to his first monster truck show at the Capitol Center. I always said, had school been about monster trucks, he would have been in college at 10. It's a way of life. It's a part of life. When you have to designate a whole room to monster trucks, which could be a craft room, sewing room, a guest bedroom. And I'm proud of Stephen for what he did, absolutely. I mean, he's, he's always been a monster truck fan, a great monster truck fan. And he's taken his knowledge to the next level and he's sharing it with the world. You know, we were trying to figure that out. I remember you and I talking about it. how can we make this more real or more elaborate. And, you know, we're just bouncing ideas off our head. And it's like, yeah, Dr. Pepper works pretty good. It looks just like motor oil. Or when we did the fire deal, you know, how can we make it smoke or look like it's on fire? Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, as we close out the December season here tonight. Boat trucks that made it to the finals have been wicked fast all night long. Wrecking crew taking on Iron Outlaw. One of these drivers is taking home the championship flag and will be taking it in to the 2024 new year. Both drivers have been looking strong all season long. Roland Cantwell a little bit farther down on the points bracket than Dustin Spallone and Wrecking Crew. However, both drivers want this win bad. Roland Cantwell and Iron Outlaw, a two-time Thursday Night Thunder champion. He's trying to make it number three here tonight. We saw Dustin Spallone again earlier in this season taking home his very first Thursday Night Thunder championship. Can Wrecking Crew add a second title to his resume? Both these drivers want this win bad. It's all culminating here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Iron Outlaw, Wrecking Crew, the end of the December season. Who's it going to be? Boat Truck Stage, it's showtime on Thunder Down the Straightaway. Iron Outlaw with the lead in the Wrecking Crew on the inside lane. And it looks like Roland Cantwell pulls it out to close out the 2023 year over the Wrecking Crew machine. But Dustin Spallone was right there with him all the way down to the wire, tagging the wall. What an incredible matchup. As we go back and check out your MTA replay here. Off the line they go. Roland Cantwell and Iron Outlaw pulled out the whole shot. Pretty much had the lead all the way down the straightaway. Watch Dustin Spallone and Wreck and Drew trying to close in the gap. Shoots it up to the sky. Cantwell keeps it level to the ground. He will pull out the win over Dustin Spallone and Wreck and Crew in our final round here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me in congratulating at this time on his third Thunder Championship. Roland Cantwell and Iron Outlaw. Uh, you know, I like to make the racing as real as possible, and they always say, you know, the True Blue Diecast Racing fans are the ones that really love the history of monster truck racing and just the sport itself of what it used to be versus where it's at today. I'm not going to sit here and run these trucks on the top of the track and watch them just tumble and fall all the way down talking about how big of a great race it was, because that ain't racing. You're watching these trucks, and that's for kids. And, you know, as much as we love the kids and MGA interacts with the kids, it's awesome, but... When it comes down to the true grassroots of MTA, we like that down home, good old side-by-side -side racing, much like you would see in the old TNT Tough Tracks or the Penda Point Series. Yeah, you know, it, it, it's kind of just, it's burned me out, it really has. You know, for the last three and a half years, we're on episode 186 or seven tonight. I can't remember, that's, uh, you know, you get so scrambled up here with everything going on. We're coming right off the holidays. And, it, you know, just over the last month, I've been talking to a couple of people that are very close to me and the insights of MTA, not only uh, my parents, but as well as like Bradley Graham. He's been a huge help throughout the history of MTA. And I, I was lucky enough, I got to meet him in person and uh, him and his wife and, you know, such great people. And, you know, we, we, we talked about a few things and just trying to move forward and keep it going. and. You know, you just get so caught up in life and, you know, everything. And it, it's rough, man. You know, it ain't Disneyland out here. You can believe that.
and it's not just me it's the fan base that's behind it and so loyal i mean these guys are in there every single week cheering on whoever you know their friends their families and it's it's really come full circle and i love doing it but you know lately that passion's kind of gone away it's kind of burned out and you know we're gonna carry on and we might come back one day you never know uh, it just you know it comes down to when and i know everybody wants to know how soon we're coming back and quite frankly that's gonna be up to me you know it, it burns you out and i'm surprised that we lasted this long but you know what it may not go away forever we might just bring it back you know for future references you know just just might need to take a little time off and get my head right we'll be back no doubt yeah, yeah, yeah.